Thank you, Jane, and um, welcome all. Uh, Jane's uh, done another great job at organising one of her investor lunches, uh, and it's ahead of RIU, so it'll be a busy week for, for most of us, and um, I'm glad that some of you could fly in from over east to attend RIU as well. So, uh, introducing Aura. Uh, Aura is an advanced gold explorer focused on the Murchison Goldfield in Western Australia. So, the Murchison Goldfield uh, is a series of greenstone belts that uh, lie in and around sort of Meekathara Mount Magnet area. Uh, the the Murchison greenstone, or the Murchison region, I guess, is less well known than the Norseman Waluna greenstone belt. Um, but it, it really uh, is underrated. Uh, it's 35 million ounces of past production and, uh, and existing resources proven up in the belt. So um, Aura Gold uh, is busily working on its project at the northern end um, in, in close proximity to you know, a, few, um, a few other gold producers. So we've got Platonic Gold Mine to the north, we've got the uh, Bluebird Mill owned by West Gold to the south, uh, and we're, we're, um, we're focused on a belt called the Abbott's Greenstone Belt, which is, uh, which is similar age to the other greenstone belts in the Murchison region and, and equally well endowed, but, but quite underexplored. So the Abbott's Greenstone Belt uh, has had disparate ownership um, over the years, and so um, companies haven't ta been able to take a whole of belt approach and, and, and have a focused, well-funded exploration program like we have been doing. So, um, so we've been busy out there. We've been we've been drilling uh, drilling uh, uh, rapidly for the last 12 months, and that culminated in a uh, in a resource update that we put out last week. So, 240,000 ounces at 4.1 grams, including a, a high grade zone uh, and, and a new discovery of 164,000 ounces at, at 5.2 grams. So, this material sits within a 200 by 300 metre area. Uh, looks like a shallow open pit. Type uh, deposit to us, uh, and so um, so you know very much um, a development story. So we, um, we we look at those ounces as being cash flow ounces, and uh, and then we ask ourselves the question: What would we have to do to to bring this project into production? So the answer to that is really not too much. Uh, we have um, our, our Crown Prince project um, is on a granted mining lease with native title agreements in place, uh, and uh, and and is you know, considered very advanced in terms of the understanding um, in terms of geotech and environmental considerations and, and dewatering considerations and, and all of those sorts of things. So um, from here, uh, we'll, be, um, we'll be focusing on Crown Prince, but also looking more broadly in the belt. There are, there are several deposits in the Abbott's Greenstone Belt, which will add to uh, our Crown Prince project and, and, and give, the, give the project scale. Um, it, it's of the scale now that it could be a small standalone, very you know smaller end standalone operation, um, but given the grade would would offer strong margins and strong returns. Uh, the um, so any, anything we anything more we find from here um, will we'll add to the bottom line. So we're, we're, we are busily drilling drilling um, along strike and down dip of, of that non mineralisation, uh, and and we look forward to updating the market on on further expansions. So in terms of uh, Aura, I guess, corporately, uh, it's, it's been listed for some time. It was historically Thundalara uh, and renamed Aura a few years ago. So it trades uh, under the code OAU. Uh, we have a market cap of around $35 million. We have $4 million, $4.1 million in, in, in cash. So we're well funded for, for the near term and what we want to, to do in terms of exploration. Uh, we've got a strong supportive shareholder base. Uh, we've got a range of, um, of institutions in the top 20 uh, and you know we're building that register out, you know, a as we go. So with a 35 million dollar market cap, surrounded by um, by mills and some, you know, some major producing mills that, that are hungry for ore, um, you know, we think our ounces uh, are cheap in terms of uh, in terms of um, the return that they, they could offer us, uh, at, you know, and and any prospective um, uh, toll milling operation. So uh, looking forward, the next six months we'll be drilling, uh, understanding and de-risking the project and, and doing all the things that you know, we have to do to, um, to, to you know, cross various hurdles that, that need, to be, um, need to be met for, for production, um, but we'll also be growing our resource base. Uh, we'll be presenting at RIU uh, through the week, so if any of you are there, drop past the booth and we can have a more detailed discussion. Thank you.